Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, social media, pop culture, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. If this is your first time here to the channel, I'd like to welcome you guys here. Along with returning visitors and subscribers, I want to thank all of you guys for your continued support. We're starting it off from this time last year. Many of you who follow the channel are aware that we covered a lot of the activity that was coming out of Hong Kong and how much of an embarrassment this was creating for China. Then of course, our good friends and fellow creators, Winston and Matthew on their ADV channel started talking about a mysterious illness out of Wuhan that was traced back to a wet market. Then a few weeks later, a schoolmate of mine started covering the particular pandemic illness that I can't mention, we still can't mention here on YouTube without being demonetized. He started talking about what was going on there in Italy. And then of course, at that point, I knew that I was going to uh, let my friends and family know about you know, the fact that we needed to start preparing for this because it's looking very similar to what we were seeing in Europe with the runs at the grocery stores and the panic buying and so forth. So here we are today in 2020 and I thought this was kind of amusing. Outdoor dining is starting to look like indoor dining because now, of course, for businesses to stay alive, because if we go into another lockdown, it's going to severely damage our economy if not send us straight into a recession. And of course, you know, there is a certain uh, election that is still unfolding in front of us right now. Lots of things happening. And uh, But a potential candidate who is misidentified every single day because there's no certification yet. But nonetheless, if that individual does make it to the seat in the White House, or to the White House, I should say, then we could see potential lockdowns yet again. And we're already seeing that already. For example, in Minnesota, and I had to use uh, the archive today, guys. I might just start using this more often to link everything because, of course, uh, the mainstream media is going to suffer greatly if this particular individual who uh, is not the president-elect should make it into office. They're gonna, their business is probably just going to collapse because everything has been orange man bad for the last four years. And, of course, we all know that the... Democrats worked alongside the mainstream media and the tech giants, as well as with all the resistance groups and social media to try to uh, convince everyone that they should hate the president as much as they do. So we can see here, Minnesota courts suspend criminal trials for 60 days due to, and I can't even say that word, so obviously you can see this. So again, as we talked about last week, where this has become a violation of the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, and to an extent how it plays into the 10th Amendment. But now we're talking about habeas corpus, which is the right to a speedy trial. So if you are now denying people uh, their ability to appear before court, to uh, you know obviously uh, go to court within a certain period of time under habeas corpus, then that, of course, is a, another violation of our rights. But in Minnesota, they are going to go ahead and push for a 60-day uh, this this virus illness right here so we can see what's coming out of uh, Minnesota then of course uh, not particularly unusual UK government to propose digital freedom pass that allows heavily tested citizens out in public life now the closest we come to this here in the United States of course was as at the airports with the TSA and being able to get those passes that allow you to go uh, through without being checked and everyone of course kind of thought you know wow this is so excessive this is kind of you know really intrusive and of course we know the whole thing about the TSA we haven't talked about that in quite some time but you guys remember that and then of course most of you guys as when I started discussing the fact that this particular pandemic was coming to the country. People scoffed and they rolled their eyes. Surely buzz, surely buzz, nothing's going to happen here. And, and what's this nonsense about something like this coming to the United States? Ticketmaster plans to check your vaccine status for concerts. Exclusive. So just when we thought these types of draconian policies were just going to be relegated to the United Kingdom. Well, it looks like governments, of course, in every country are going to try to push for these types of things. 
whether it's a, a government, whether it's a company, whether it's a business. Of course, businesses want to protect themselves mainly from lawsuits, right? So if a person goes to a restaurant or a concert or something and they become ill, think about, okay, what protocols, what measures did these companies and businesses use to protect me from this illness that's going around? So we can see that a lot of this is really mostly just talk. It, it really makes for great clickbait for the media who is going to need as much clickbait as possible because they've been rage baiting this entire four years. I know I'm kind of rifling through today's Friday vlog. It is a holiday weekend, so I'm kind of just more in the relaxed mode, more of a laid back mode, just kind of bring some of this stuff to you guys. And now we're going to shift gears over to Parlay. As you know, because of all the activity that has been going on, particularly on Twitter and on Facebook, there has been a huge push to move to Parlay, a wonderful social media platform that I've been on for a few months, but it's I'm happy to see that so many people are now joining Parlay, and I think normies are now starting to see what we have been talking about for quite some time when it comes to how the resistance, cancel culture, intersectionality, identitarian movement has uh, infiltrated in as they see themselves as the arbiters of truth and morality. Of course, they are the morality police in and of themselves. We see this quite often. And most people were like, oh, Buzz, you're just being cynical and sarcastic and overly dramatic. However, I just try to present the information as we see it and as as we are affected as creators because I am affected by this very thing. And maybe now most of you guys are seeing it as well. But Parental Advocacy, advocacy Group warns Parlay dangerous for minors i totally disagree to the extent on that the uh the quite uh inflammatory article heading there but nonetheless that's typical of the hill the advocacy group parents together action issued a public warning friday about the alternative social media app parlay arguing it doesn't moderate content which is dangerous for minors that is uh not entirely true because they do have a, a certain age limit that you have to be verified. I think it's 13 years old. And of course, they do exercise very stringent type policies and rules on their site. I'd say more stringent than uh, even Twitter as uh, Tim Pool was bringing up the other day that they do have a good monitoring system on Parlay to ensure that people don't go on there and infiltrate the area. Because as we saw with Gab and a little bit with Mines, of course, yeah, the more radical right, the, the more vocal uh, uh, individuals on the right, we're going to Gab and Parlay or I'm, I'm sorry, going to Gab and Mines at first, but of course many of them got weeded out. And even us, us as conservatives, or or even as me as a conservative, uh, were being attacked by even these right, the far right, and still to this, still every once in a while I get attacked by members of the right because I'm not uh, obviously right enough. But nonetheless, guys, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are on Parlay. And if you are on Parlay and watching this now, I want to thank you guys for your support there. And, of course, if you haven't already followed me on Parlay, those links to all my social media, if you guys want to follow me on there, will be just below this video. And before we go, let me jump over here real quick and let you guys know that Black Friday isn't going to be the typical standard Friday that we all are aware of. But if you do plan on doing some shopping from home, of course, to help out the channel, you can always go to my Amazon page, which is very similar to the Amazon landing page that you guys visit all the time. Of course, I have my storefront here. You guys can see some of the gear and games and equipment that I use uh, uh, in my daily uh, vlogging and for gaming, as well as some of the product reviews or some of the products that I review here on the channel. So you guys can just use the regular Amazon landing uh, search bar here as you would with Amazon, of course, and your uh, purchases, of course, do give me a little bit of a commission. So it is greatly appreciated. So something to consider for your purchasing for this Black Friday as well as for the holidays. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. I want to thank all of you guys, in particular those on Parlay and Rumble for your continued support here of the channel as we venture into new areas of alt tech. And of course, guys, appearing right there on the screen, that would be the obligatory YouTube channel icon for those of you here on YouTube to click on and subscribe along with notifications. That way you guys will know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see you guys right there behind that camera next week.